This LOS is explain recognition and measurement of current and deferred tax items. Recognition and measurement of current and deferred tax. Current taxes payable or recoverable from tax authorities are based on the applicable tax rates at the balance sheet date. Deferred taxes should be measured at the tax rate that is expected to apply when the asset is realized or the liability settled. With respect to the income tax for a current period or prior period not yet paid, it is recognized as a tax liability until paid. Any amount paid in excess of any tax obligation is recognized as an asset. The income tax is paid in excess of or owed to tax authorities is separate from deferred taxes on the company's balance sheet. Although deferred tax assets and liabilities are related to temporary differences expected to be recovered or settled at some future date, neither are discounted to present value in determining the amounts to be booked. Both must be adjusted for changes in tax rates. Deferred taxes as well as income taxes should always be recognized on the income statement of an entity unless it pertains to a taxes or deferred taxes charged directly to equity or b a possible provision for deferred taxes relates to a business combination. The carrying amounts of the deferred tax assets and liabilities should also be assessed. The carrying amounts may change even though there may have been no change in temporary difference is during the period evaluated. This can result from one, changes in tax rates, two, reassessments of the recoverability of deferred tax assets, or three, changes in the expectations for how an asset will be recovered and what influences the deferred tax asset or liability. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.